What if roller skates were permanently attached to your feet? So I decided to ignore just the actual like li- living portion because I knew you guys had that part. So what I decided to do... Um, the sort dying of, portion. Right, yes. No. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I, I decided sort of similarly to a lot of our, you know, what kind of job can you do um, takes on a lot of these questions. Uh, I specifically went to, uh, is there a way that you can use this situation uh, to do sports more good? Um, <laughs> hey, Ben, the sports guy. I am the sports Welcome guy. Welcome to Ben's part of the podcast, the sports part of the podcast, where we ask, can you do sports good? Yeah. Can you sports? <laughs> Let's see. Um, so, so first off, I'm going to sort of make the assumption here that you can convince whatever regulating bodies regulate the sport in question, uh, to allow you to participate while wearing rollerblades, because I feel like <laughs> most of them... sue them, because it's like a physical condition that you have. Right, so I think you'd, I, I don't know, I, I think you'd have a decent, I don't know, I don't think it would actually fly in real life, even if you <laughs> had, like, mutant roller skate feet. Um, they'd probably figure out, I don't know, who knows, but regardless... Um, just assume that yes, you are allowed to participate in these events. Um, so first ben, off, here's a hypothetical for you. Sure. Um, before, so imagine you are the head of the Roller Blade Hockey League, mm-hmm. and someone writes you a letter saying, "Hey, can I participate using roller blades? Yes or no?" Are you, I mean, obviously the answer is yes, but is it too obvious a question where you're nervous about sending that email back? Uh, yes, I'm 100% <laughs> nervous about how that could be construed. I'd probably link like a picture of rollerblades to specify that these are the kind of rollerblades we're talking about, not like yeah. wheels with knives on them or something. <laughs> yeah, just send them like the legal paragraph of exactly what rollerblades are acceptable and be like, these are the rollerblades we accept. Right, exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yes, but I don't want to just say yes to your... I don't think it's overly vague, but I'm not going to say just yes. Yeah. So anyway, getting getting to the sports. Um, so first off, sort of sports that go bad, which is most of them. Um, really just sort of start basically anything on grass. You're not going to do that well in <laughs> because you cannot move as well as someone not wearing roller skates uh, on grass. It's just not going to happen. So I'll get into a couple specifics as we go, but just sort of in general blanket statement grass-based sports not good for rollerblades um next uh uh ice hockey so i know this sounds very dumb because there is you know rollerblade hockey that's a thing but not on ice not on ice um but it turns out you actually i found uh a video on youtube of a guy rollerblading on ice it's actually possible uh it's not great (laughs) <laughs> like surfing is it as funny as the surfing video <laughs> um it's pretty full so okay so the start of it's not great because it's really hard for him to get going because you know the wheels spin and they're on ice so he can't really get traction <laughs> um, but eventually gets going but then it's very funny when he tries to stop with like a hockey stop where you like slide <laughs> into it sideways you know and he just immediately wipes out because they're fucking roller blades <laughs> i can imagine it right now yeah it's pretty great um yeah, so ice hockey probably not going to work that well either because, yeah, just wear ice skates. Um, I know I mentioned grass sports in general, but football I kind of want to have a quick segue into. There's actually an expression in talking about football um, when someone – if they, like, get blocked and they can't get any traction and just get, like, pushed backwards helplessly, they call that getting put on skates. So whoever came <laughs> with that actually already knows just how bad this is going to go. Yeah, they tried it out. Yeah, I think yeah they actually probably did try it and realize they just on a whim. But um, yeah, it's not gonna end well for you, in general. Uh, and then final like very bad going sport that I thought about is like boxing slash MMA. So I will say, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna point out that with MMA, I think that if you could successfully kick someone in the head, you would win. But I think that's gonna be really <laughs> tricky. <laughs> <laughs> and I think if you don't do that, you're just entirely hosed <laughs> immediately. Um, they they do weigh six pounds. Yeah, so that's kind of kind of like you know you're kind of like you got this one shot, um, and it's gonna be pretty obvious what you're trying to do. <laughs> I think, <laughs> uh, and pretty easy to avoid. And you're probably gonna fall over in the process of trying to do it. But <laughs> if you can land it. You probably win and may kill the other guy. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I mean, you could, like, roll around the ring and, like, gain momentum and then, like, clothesline them. I mean, could you, though? Like... No, no, here's what you do. Here's what you do. You roll around the ring in a circle. 
and then you go in for like a tight circle around them, like where you can like you can like spread your feet apart, like a little spread eagle. So you're like going in a fast circle, and then just throw a whole bunch of punches. I have I have a counter to your strategy. As you're skating around the rink, the other person just walks across the rink and waits for you, and you can't change direction fast enough to avoid them. <laughs> well. Then you just got one punch. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, that one, probably not going to go that well. So, now let's get to um, the – there's an, an interesting sport, uh, which is basketball. So, first off, you are not going to be good at basketball. I want to go ahead and start that out. This could probably be a bad sport, but there's an interesting wrinkle to it. But you're not going to be good because on offense, basketball requires being able to, A, change direction quickly, which you cannot do. And B, you know, jump? Like jumping, I don't think you can jump that well. <laughs> right? You got two extra inches of height. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess, technically. Um, but yeah, so that's not great. And then on defense, lateral movement is very important. And that's like what you're the worst at on roller skates is lateral movement. Counterpoint, Ben. Dribbling is counted in steps, correct? That was actually my next point. So, so... <laughs> <laughs> the, the rule traveling in basketball is basically when you have the ball, if you're not dribbling, you get two steps. And the NBA rules are very clear in their definition of a step and the fact that it involves picking up one of your feet. So <laughs> technically, you, you don't could need get to the ball and not have to dribble. However, you're still going to be really bad at basketball because you're just going to be <laughs> – you're like even though you don't have to dribble, you're just drifting forwards whatever speed you were going before and you can just get like – push a little bit and you're probably going to fall over <laughs> because you're on roller skates holding a basketball. So can your teammates push you Can your own teammates push you forward to give you faster momentum? I mean, probably, but I think it's just faster for them, for them to run with the ball, right? <laughs> like, yeah, you, oh, yeah. They give you the ball, you hold it up over your head so no one can reach it. And then they just all push you and the other team's going to try to push you backwards. <laughs> And that's that's what a the losing streak. But they have an extra person because you're holding the ball. So they're always oh, yeah. going to win. That's true. See, it doesn't work. That's why that reason doesn't make sense. Also, being tall is a very popular basketball strategy. That's also so unless true. you are really, really the tallest, <laughs> you cannot hold the ball too high. So so, so me personally, if I were to be this person on roller skates being pushed with the ball over my head, there would probably still be someone who were, for whom the ball would be at like slightly below eye level on the <laughs> basketball court. So... <laughs> slightly below nipple level maybe <laughs> yeah so yeah basketball interesting rules wrinkle but i think maybe not your best option because other than being able to kind of break a rule of basketball you are terrible at literally every other aspect of basketball of basketball so there is one one sport where you technically would be quite good and that is running <laughs> <laughs> So and that's running. I mean, so here's the, the argument is that once again, the governing body has decided that that this is fine for whatever reason. As the as the room burns around him. Right, yeah, exactly. This is fine. So speaking of the room burning around them, let's let's talk about um speeds at various distances and like like time it takes for various people and you know, world records and whatnot. So uh I have a set of running records and skating records for various distances. Um, the running records are from the, the IAAF, which is the International Association of Athletics Federations. Uh, and the skating records are actually not world records. They are from the from USARS, which is USA Roller Sports. So they are American records, I'm assuming. They're all set in America, at least. Um, so these aren't, like, the best, probably. But I can't imagine they're too far off because it's goddamn, like competitive speed rollerblading i don't think it's a huge market <laughs> so yep. um yeah but fun fact the the record for the 100 meter on rollerblades is actually slower than usain bolt's 100 meter running record by about half a second what Ooh, yes i mean possible? it makes sense to me it's it's like right how you exactly what a cheetah over very short distance exactly it's it's a lot easier to get started running than rollerblading so it actually does make sense. So so there you actually would be slower. You would you would not be a like I mean, to be fair, we're comparing you to Usain Bolt, so maybe you'd do okay, but you'd be on relatively even footing if you were also, you know, one of the best roar players in the world, so it's not that helpful. But two hundred meters you gain a little bit, you're about two and three quarter seconds faster. Four hundred meters you're almost ten seconds faster. A thousand meters you're forty eight seconds faster. 
1500 meters, you're a minute, minute and 15 faster. And a 5K, you go from a 1237 5K when you're running to a 715 skating, which is over five minutes faster. All the way up to, wow. I found uh, marathon times. So the the marathon like running record um, was actually just set when we're recording this uh, earlier this week. Just actually. now. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it was actually, it was actually set uh, for us currently uh, the Sunday of this week we're recording it. Uh, for people in the future where you're listening to this podcast. Stop dating our podcast, Ben. We record these on the day they release. Ah, suck it, Marcus. It's a live show. Can't wait to watch the World Series today. <laughs> Man, can't believe the Mets pulled it out in the end. That's <laughs> literally impossible. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking not, about, Ben? It's happening. Not it's just on the because TV. of the records of baseball, but because of the Mets. But yeah, so the, the marathon record for running is two hours, one minute, and 39 seconds. For roller skating, it is one hour, 16 minutes, and 48 seconds which is a gain of 44 minutes and 29 seconds. So, yeah, you could be a pretty good distance runner, technically. Yeah, Ben, of. tell me more about how roller skating is faster than running. <laughs> I did, with a graph. <laughs> I did. That I can't show on this podcast. <laughs> I got a graph and a half. Ben's like, what are you talking about? I just did. <laughs> That's literally why I spent a few minutes explaining to you, Marcus. I wish you'd been paying attention. 